1976. So you joined in 1976. Just saying as a chorus. Okay. And the years at that time, did you were you were a soprano at that time, or did you sing with the altos? I prefer singing with the altos. I can't remember. I would have. I possibly. Yeah, probably was singing soprano because I just finished at uni and actually Mm. been doing doing some singing. So I I felt more comfortable, I suppose, there. But. Um, yeah, so I think probably would have been Sopranos because I was, yeah, so I was sitting next to Colleen Muller. Still, oh, okay. Still with us. Yes. And I used to teach her daughters yep. at school at the same time, so, mm, so it would have been Soprano. Yeah, yeah. Yep. I mean, I've really sung all my life mm. and I had sung in church up here for many years mm. because in Sydney I, I wasn't involved. I okay. only sang with the congregation at mm. church but wasn't really involved. Mm. And um, I just thought, oh, I'd love to get. I just love to sing, and I knew a few people that belonged to it. Judy Hayhoe. Oh, yeah. And of course, I said to her one day at church, Oh, do you think I'm too old to join you? I said, No, no, no. So, and she was the one that said, Well, wait until we finish this concert and then we'll start a new. So that's what okay. I did. Yeah. 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 Uh, it starts with our family, mm. the Miamans migrating to Australia in mm. 1980. Oh. So, quite a while ago. Yeah. And oh, we had a connection who's still in the choir mm. right now. That's Janet Beamers. Mm. And we settled with her family mm-hmm. uh, who were our sponsors at the time. Oh. And Janet used to go along to the choir mm. already and kind of uh, encouraged my mum and my sisters to go along. Right, okay. So they went along and mm. then um, they said, oh... They need men over there. They oh. need more males. They have come along. So that's yep. how they dragged me into oh. the choir. So you didn't go and initially? I didn't go initially mm. of my own back. I was only, <laughs> I think I was only 17, right. so uh, quite at that end of you teenage were, years. Yes. I wasn't very mature okay. for my age and a brand new world mm. over here. Mm. But it was um, initially... Uh, quite good to be appreciated as mm. another voice in the choir so uh, they, of the part that they needed yeah. more, more voices of. Were they really backing in tenors at that time? Or yes, I think remember? they were, and I think they usually mm, choirs are up. always <laughs> looking for looking for tenor voices. Don't know why that is. Mm. Mm. What year did you come to Australia? 18, 1980. 1980. Yes, so. Could have. Would mm. it have been that year, or what do you think? No, you would have later on. Mm. Yeah, later on. Okay. Yeah. And how did you come to find out about the choir? Oh, yeah, Janet mm. was there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that was a bit of yeah. you know, connection. And had you known Janet or known of Janet before you came to Australia? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Mm-hmm. And. She was going to choir at that time, yes, wasn't she? Yes, yeah. And had been going for quite a while. Yes, she asked I think. Yeah. yeah. And so did she, what did she say to you about it? Can you remember what she said? Or did mm. she just sort of say, oh, that could be a good thing to come no, join? I think or? Casper went first. I think, I'm not sure now. Okay. And, and, and a light was there. And, mm. and I think Saskia. Yeah. Even, even your room. It was the first year that um, Glyn was away from home, right. uh, that's our second son, yep. and uh, we only had our daughter left at home, oh, and yeah. I had waited for the opportunity to be able to join the office for okay. quite a number of years. Okay, mm. so can you remember when you first became aware of Orpheus or thought that you'd like to go along? I think I'd been aware of it for, for quite a few years, mm. but with family commitments, and I was also teaching, mm. um, it was a little bit difficult to, yeah. to get to practices and, and commit to that, so um, mm. I just waited for that opportunity to have, uh, have a, a little slightly more empty nest, yes. and uh, so, and so that's so where I started. Do something, do something for yourself. For myself, like, yes, because I, I had not done anything for myself for Okay. For several years. Friday, mm. denying. Okay. And Mr. Alan Crocker asked me to come. Mm-hmm. See, we had been in the Vandenberg Musical Society together, mm-hmm. but we disband- mm-hmm. disbanded, and years later we met up again, mm-hmm. and he remembered me, and he said, Would you like to join the Orpheus Singers? Okay. And I said, Yes, and mm-hmm. I have not ever regretted it for one moment. Yeah.